Hey, it's my friend Logan. Hey. I got a question for you. What did Jesus say about families? So Jesus uh, says three things uh, about families in the Gospels. Uh, the first thing is that he affirms what the Old Testament says and that we should honor our father and mother. He affirms that when the rich young ruler comes and says, what commandments should I obey? He says, one of them is, says, yeah, you know, like the Ten Commandments, and one of them is honor your father and mother. He says, that's a good thing. Um, but we see peculiar, uh, peculiarly another thing where Jesus says uh, that his coming and, and his arrival on the scene will actually split, um, will split families. So he says, I didn't come to bring peace, but I came to bring a sword, mm. and families will be divided on my account. Uh, and in, in other places, he says uh, that whoever loves uh, their father and mother more than me is not worth, uh, they, they are not worthy of following in my footsteps. Uh, so on one level, we see Jesus affirms, yeah, on your father and mother, love your brothers and sisters. Another level, he says that when I come, um, I will actually divide mother and, and father and brothers and sisters. And then the third thing, which ties this all these two things together, is that Jesus uh, redefines family and kinship around himself. So there's this scene in the Gospels where uh, people come to him and say, Hey, Jesus, your mothers and your brothers and your sisters are looking for you. Uh, and he says, who are my brother? Where are my brothers and mothers and my sisters? These are my brothers and my mothers and my sisters. Those who do the will of God, who hear the word of God, and, and they obey it. Um, so we see those three things uh, that you know Jesus affirms. Uh, so he's going to split families and redefines family around himself. And ultimately, this only makes sense if Jesus demands loyalty to himself over all other things, over connections to groups, over connections to families, over connections to even churches. Um, so Jesus demands that your number one priority in life is, isn't your family, but it's actually him. And if you have to choose between dividing your family, splitting your family, being hated by your family, offending your family, and following Jesus, Jesus says, you have to be willing to follow him at all costs so you are not worthy of following Seems him. Seems ironic that Jesus would say, if you give all this up, you'll have someday tenfold more. Exactly. He says that your reward will be greater in heaven if you're willing to suffer for the sake of him.